Sana, Sweden, September 26, 99. Dear Howells, Get your lecture by heart. It will pay you. I learned a trick in Vienna, by accident, which I wish I had learned years ago. I meant to read from a Tauchnitz because I knew I hadn't well memorized the pieces, and I came on with the book and read a few sentences, then remembered that the sketch needed a few words of explanatory introduction, and so, lower in the book and now and then unconsciously using it to gesture with, I talked the introduction, and it happened to carry me into the sketch itself, and then I went on pretending that I was merely talking extraneous matter and would come to the sketch presently. It was a beautiful success. I knew the substance of the sketch and the telling phrases of it, and so the throwing of the rest of it into informal talk as I went along limbered it up and gave it the snap and go and freshness of an impromptu. I was to read several pieces, and I played the same game with all of them. And always the audience thought I was being reminded of outside things and throwing them in, and was going to hold up the book and begin on the sketch presently. And so I always got through the sketch before they were entirely sure that it had begun. I did the same thing in Budapest and had the same good time over again. It's a new dodge and the best one that was ever invented. Try it. You'll never lose your audience, not even for a moment. Their attention is fixed and never wavers. And that is not the case where one reads from book or manuscript or where he stands up without a note and frankly exposes the fact by his confident manner and smooth phrasing that he is not improvising but reciting from memory. And in the heat of telling a thing that is memorized in substance only, one flashes out the happiest suddenly begotten phrases every now and then. Try it. Such a phrase has a life and sparkle about it that's twice as good a one could not exhibit if prepared beforehand, and it fetches an audience in such an enthusing and inspiring and uplifting way that that lucky phrase breeds another one, sure. Your September installment, Their Silver Wedding Journey, was delicious, every word of it. You haven't lost any of your splendid art. Callers have arrived. With love, Mark. <laughs>